The president just won't stop pushing. Hydroxychloroquine, the anti-malaria drug unproven for fighting COVID-19. I happen to be taking it. Hydroxychloroquine? I'm taking it. Hydroxychloroquine. Right now, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, I started taking it. Because I think it's good. I've heard a lot of good stories. For months, he's been touting its benefits, even with mounting evidence of dangerous side effects like heart arrhythmia and an FDA warning it should only be used in formal studies. Trump says he's popped a pill a day for the last couple of weeks after getting the go-ahead from his doctor. Yeah, White House doctor. I didn't recommend. No, I asked him, what do you think? He said, well, if you'd like it. I said, yeah, I'd like it. I'd like to take it. A lot of people are taking it. A lot of frontline workers are taking hydroxychloroquine. Four observational studies now in three countries have concluded the drug has no benefit on patients with COVID and can be dangerous. A further study with highly exposed healthcare workers will examine its use as a prophylactic. Trump has already decided. I want the people of this nation to feel good. I don't want them being sick. And there's a very good chance that this has an impact, especially early on. It's unusual timing. Just last week, the ousted head of a U.S. vaccine agency, Dr. Rick Bright, testified he was suddenly dismissed in part because he resisted efforts to promote the drug. That would make chloroquine more freely available to Americans that were not under the close supervision of a physician. President Trump says he's showing no symptoms of COVID-19. And in a memo tonight, the White House doctor said after numerous discussions, he and Trump concluded any potential benefit outweighs the risk. So either Trump is increasingly worried he may be exposed to the virus or he simply wants to win the information war on hydroxychloroquine. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Washington.